Welcome back everyone to Stadiums of the World. Today we are touring the world famous Cameron Indoor Stadium where the fans are called the Cameron Crazies. Located in Durham, North Carolina and home of the Duke basketball team. Right on Duke's campus over by the football stadium and the baseball field among other sports facilities. Every photo you see today was taken by me, which is the case for all my videos. Don't forget to write in the comment section what you like about this stadium. And with that, let's start the tour. Cameron Indoor opened in 1940 and currently has a capacity of 9,314. It was named after Eddie Cameron, who was a coach and athletic director for Duke, who came up with Cameron Indoor. This stadium is one of the loudest stadiums in the country, and they've actually hit I believe over 120 decibels at a game before and it's, it's really actually surprising you know it has over 9,000 fans there but walking around the stadium it it looks really really small and the main reason for that is they have the Cameron crazies which I, I mentioned earlier in the video and they, they truly make it a, a crazy atmosphere and really difficult to play uh, and you can see this sign here that they think it's the, the toughest place to play in America for a road game in college basketball so it's it's pretty incredible for such a small stadium that they can have such a tough environment and walking by the stadium on the outside, you know, if it didn't have a sign, you didn't know what it was, you wouldn't even notice it was a stadium. Uh, it does have beautiful stonework. It kind of matches the rest of the buildings on campus, but, you know, it, it's not a very large stadium that sticks out. So kind of, kind of interesting to see as you walk by. And right outside the stadium, they have a place called Shusevskyville, named after Coach K. And it's a place where students line up and they, they camp out with tents to, to try to get into the game. This photo is showing all those tents lined up waiting, and they'll be out there for days waiting for the game. There's only a certain amount of uh, spots, and they go out there and wait, and, you know, it's the Cameron Crazies, and they do some crazy things to try to get into the game, and it's, it's really one of the unique things in college basketball. This stadium's a very old school stadium. You know, they didn't even get air conditioning until I think the 2002, 2003 season. You look at it, it's not a flashy brand new stadium, but for me, it was it was a definitely a bucket list stadium. You know, thinking of bucket list stadiums out there, Fenway Park and things like that. So it's just, for not being really flashy, it's still an icon among sports stadiums. And just to back that up, Sports Illustrated ranked Cameron Indoor Stadium number four on its list of top 20 uh, 20th century venues. So it's not just me who thinks that. You know, most people think this is an iconic stadium. Another thing to note, if you're standing here looking at Cameron Indoor, there's a building to the right, and that's the Duke Basketball Museum. And then you can walk over there. Anybody can walk in and check that out. And I would definitely recommend walking in there. Duke is one of the powerhouses of college basketball. If you walk around the stadium, it has a lot of history and highlights all the accomplishments they've had, and they got a lot of cool stuff in there, like their trophies and stuff like that. So it's a great thing to see. You know, go check out Cameron Indoor Stadium, but also walk over the museum and see see kind of the history of, of Duke basketball as well. And you can't talk about Duke basketball without talking about Coach K. You know, he coached at Duke from 1980 to 2022. And, you know, they won five national championships when he was there and really, really made them the powerhouse they are today. And if you walk around that museum, you can see kind of the history of him in there as well. Every video, I like to throw in a photo of myself at the stadium, just showing that I was there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And I have a couple highlight videos showing the various stadiums that I've been to. So write in the comments section and let me know which stadium you'd like me to do a video on next.